Hello, book nerds. Welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim, and today we'll be doing a writing retreat vlog. So for April, the Easter long weekend, I took a couple extra days off work to give myself some time to get some writing done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so I just sort of wanted to share with you how I did that and how it went. So today is day three. I took Thursday off work. Friday was a stat holiday because it was Good Friday. And today is Saturday. I still have Sunday and I have Monday. <laughs> so the first two days I took to kind of just rest, just rest. I didn't worry too much about my writing. I didn't um, worry about being uh, <laughs> unproductive. I just rested. So I literally spent most of my Thursday just in bed. I snuggled with my husband and I just napped off and on and I just rested. And that evening, my husband and I played some video games. We watched some TV together, some good old anime and ate some delicious food and we just rested. The second day, uh, Friday, I also rested. Now, I, I didn't need to sleep quite as much because I got plenty of that the day before. <laughs> I was feeling caught up, but I wanted to just take it easy and do some things that are fun and that I enjoy. So I read my book. I hung out with my bunnies. I watched some more TV. I ate some yummy, healthy snacks. I had I mean, I don't know how healthy it is really, but I had um, some fruit chopped up with whipped cream because it's delicious. <laughs> and I just took it easy for the second day. Now, today was only supposed to be a half day of writing. I was planning on going to uh, my in-laws for Easter dinner this evening, but uh, unfortunately, some of my in-laws are sick and it was canceled. So, you know, as an introvert, I'm like, yay, canceled plans. And now I have a whole day of writing that I get to take advantage of. <laughs> so today I am going to focus on creativity. I'm going to work some more on, on my second draft. I'm hoping to complete act one in the next few days. And we're going to do that scene by scene, taking plenty of breaks. I'm going to read. I'm going to do some creative writing prompts just to get the juices going. And I just wanted to take you along while I do that. So here we go.
Hey guys, so today is the last day of my kind of mini DIY writing retreat. And I just wanted to let you know what I managed to accomplish. I managed to do a lot of character development. I was able to really flesh out some of my characters that were really flat in my first draft. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm really glad about that. And I was also finding in my first draft that I was struggling a lot <laughs> with keeping my setting details consistent. So I created a floor plan. <laughs> because the majority of my uh, characters or my story takes place in one big building. So I came up with a floor plan to help me keep those details consistent. <laughs> so this beauty right here, floor plan, exciting. Um, so that's, that's really what I did mostly. I was able to write a couple of scenes uh, in my first act. Um, sort of flesh them out, rewrite them a little bit, and developed those characters a bit more and worked on a floor plan. So all in all, I would say this has been a successful writing retreat. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I got done quite as much as I had envisioned getting done. I had like grand dreams of finishing uh, the whole first act of my uh, second draft but that didn't happen. But that's okay, because some of those details that I really need to refer back to as I'm going ahead in my second draft have been fleshed out. And so I feel like that was important. I got to take this time. It's already 3.30. I am out of time, really. I can't do much more today. Unfortunately, real life comes back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday, the end of my extra long Easter weekend and so tomorrow is back to the grind which means for the rest of tonight I have to do my usual week prep. Gotta clean up my house, you know, change some bunny litter boxes and scrape their copious amounts of hay off my floor. <laughs> you know, damage control bunnies. That's it for me. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Do you have any suggestions for DIY writing retreats? As always, happy reading and writing.